the Dutch authorities have basically blocked off the consulate of the Turkish Republic in Rotterdam. The Turkish authorities have blocked off the embassy, the consulates, the residences of the ambassador and the chargé d'affaires. What is going on? Well, this is a sad uh, passage of events, Jonathan. Uh, basically, uh, Turkey, like Germany and other countries, has hundreds of thousands of dual national Turkish European Union citizens. And uh, running campaigns uh, in these countries, you'll remember Barack Obama as a candidate in Berlin in 2008, is not uncommon. Uh, but the problem is that the right in Europe, particularly strong in uh, Netherlands before the parliamentary elections next week, uh, sees the Turks as Muslims and thus bad. The left in Germany, Netherlands and elsewhere see the Turks as too supportive of President Erdogan and what they see with good reason is his authoritarian policies. So the result is a perfect storm. Europe needs uh, Turkey uh, and Turkey needs Europe given all the threats and uh, challenges we have in the world today, and this is a real mess. Now, the way you've described it, you passed over quickly the fact that the Netherlands is having its own election next week ahead of the, the Turkish referendum. In the Dutch case, is that what this is really about, the Dutch government trying to influence the outcome of that election? It's hard to say, Jonathan. Again, I've been following this in Germany and the Netherlands and elsewhere, and you have two sets of uh, issues. Uh, Europe is horrified that the right, uh, be it uh, Le Pen in France, uh, the uh, Alliance for Neue Deutschland in Germany, or Gert Wilders in the Netherlands, will uh, win a ever-growing part of the population and put pressure on uh, the governments in these countries to shift to a much more anti-immigrant, much more nationalistic frame of mind. By the same token, uh, there's tremendous opposition to Erdogan and his authoritarian policies on the left and the center-left in Europe. So all of this comes together, and the result is this terrible uh, situation. Now, the foreign minister was allowed to speak at a rally in Hamburg, uh, but there were problems elsewhere in Germany. What is the domestic calculation in Germany? Is, is it the same? Uh, it's somewhat similar to the Netherlands, but you're dealing with a far more clever politician, Angela Merkel. She uh, took the position that the central government won't decide, they will not ban uh, these uh, rallies by Turkish officials, but rather they'll let the municipalities do it at the local level, cities and towns. Some cities and towns have allowed it to happen, some have uh, not, but it's been uh, murky enough so that uh, uh, Erdogan has not been able to react as strongly against Germany as he just has against the Netherlands. Now, when they ban these meetings, uh, citing public safety or public order, is that, is that just a transparent fig leaf, an excuse? Uh, of course. Again, hundreds of thousands of people came to see Barack Obama in uh, Germany in 2008 when he was a political candidate, uh, and uh, there weren't millions of uh, American voters in uh, Germany as there are millions of Turkish voters uh, in Germany today, dual nationals. Uh, and uh, the Germans just sucked up the uh, public order problems of closing down streets all over Berlin. This is a patent uh, effort to essentially deny a democratic uh, freedom of speech process because you don't like the people talking, either because you're biased against Muslims or you're biased against people who take an authoritarian approach to democracy. Turkey says it's going to respond. The word uh, the Turks are using is sanctions. Um, should they be saying refugees instead? Turkey is playing a crucial role both in taking millions of refugees from Syria and some from Iraq and also working with the European Union. Uh, Erdogan won't change that. And when he announced his sanctions, he said he would implement them after the referendum in April. He's not going to do any sanctions. He's just playing this to show that he's tough, that he can stand up to the Europeans. And this is winning him votes across the board in Turkey. All Turks, or almost all of them, support him and support the right of Turks to listen to whoever they want to uh, in this uh, referendum campaign. Ambassador James Jeffrey, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you.